Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olise, the son of Nube, and I'm here just to review with you the situation on the ground regarding the politics of the country that is Zimbabwe. Uh, you will know that there's been a lot happening, uh, especially within what was the mainstream opposition party, which was Triple C, uh, which was being led by Advocate Nelson Chamisa. But you'll know that following a number of recalls that were effected by a man called Sengezo Chabangu, who claimed that he was the interim secretary general of the party, a lot has been happening. There's been a number of issues within and without the party, uh, especially uh, following the resignation of advocate Nelson Chamisa, who is contemplating uh, forming another movement. Uh, he calls it a movement. He hasn't named it as yet what is going to be called, but in a number of interviews with some TV stations, especially here in South Africa, he has said that he wants to form a new citizens movement. Uh, we don't know the name yet, but it seems like there is a number of people that are loyal to Nelson Chamisa. We have also left Triple C and are spearheading this movement, and they seem to be adopting the color of dark yellow but as i've said there is quite a lot that is happening uh within this faction that kicked out uh, indirectly advocate nelson chamisa which has been led by sengezo chabangu there has been a number of new development you know that there were pilot elections that were done in zimbabwe in which zanu pf won many seats especially in the second largest city of bulawayo and now what is happening is that the party triple c as it still remains is supposed to submit some names uh, of senators and proportional representation councillors uh, uh, rather mps and what has happened is that uh, this has created a new layer of infighting within the triple c that is led by sengezo chabang and I'm saying Triple C, which is led by Sengezo Chabangu, because there are a number of other splinters. There's one which uh, is being owned or run by former party spokesperson, uh, Promise Mkwanas, who replaced the advocate Fatsai Mahere. And we are told that there's also infighting within that uh, same structure. Uh, Mkwanas had said that he is taking over as the acting president, and then he headed over to Mr. Jameson Timber. Who has not said anything after he was handed uh, the party leadership but now what we are getting is that there is a fight over social media handles of the party because uh, other cutters who are loyal to advocate Nelson Chamisa and these include uh, Gift Ostalo Siziba and Amos Ibaya are said to be trying to get hold of the Twitter handles that like this ex handles rather uh, of the party which is which are still written triple C, and they want to change and rename them according to what this new movement is going to be called. But now we are told that uh, Mr. Mkwanas is adamant that he's not going to hand over uh, that ex handle because he still is uh, a member of triple C, and he says that there is a structure of triple C that is being led by Jameson Timber. Well, Copy going back again to the one that is being led by Sengezo Chabang or where uh, the handlers of Sengezo Chabang are, uh, there has been after the submission of these names because there are allegations that when Chabang was given some names to go and submit, he, he changed them uh, privately. He wrote his own names, which we are told he has submitted. We don't know as yet. Uh, for certain if those new names that he has submitted, which include his own name, have been accepted by the Speaker of Parliament. But what we are getting is that there are a number of audios where you will remember the name Sonen Moyo. Uh, that is the lady who once took Ostalo Sisiba to, to task, claiming that he had attacked her, that he had insulted her, uh, accusing him of being disres disrespectful uh, of women and a number of other things. So now there is a, a number of audios where this lady 
is also insulting a number of people. She's laying a number of accusations against some people within Triple C. He doesn't, she doesn't uh, necessarily accuse Segezo Chabang of these things, which include promiscuity, which include uh, sex for favors within the party. She's claiming that the names of the women that were submitted to as proportional representation uh, representatives of Triple C in Parliament uh, were chosen according to who slept with who. She's even making uh, widespread claims of one of uh, the Triple C male members having petted three women uh, who were paid with positions in Parliament and she says one of them has got three girlfriends of his that are now uh, in Parliament and she says that she doesn't need to do that. She, she's even saying that if had she allowed herself to be petted by one of these guys, she would be in Parliament right now or her name would have been submitted because she claims that her name was taken out alongside a number of other names because she refused to sleep with these uh, predators within the party. So she's saying that, or rather she's claiming that a number of other women had their names submitted because they allowed themselves to be used in this sex for favors uh, a criteria that is being used to choose leaders. And she's even saying that there has been uh, a, an imposition of people in certain positions based on this uh, lovey-dovey relationships. And she's even saying that there was no need for people to then hound Chamisa out of the party accusing him of imposing candidates when they are doing exactly the same or rather more than that and she's prepared to even come out in the open and uh, lay these claims uh, in public and uh, even stand for them. This is what she's saying. She's even insulting some people among them, former Bulawayo deputy mayor uh, who happens to be in one of these um, chat groups of the party. So, this now takes us to the motive behind the fights within Triple C. You will remember that uh, when these things started, before the party even imploded, I came here, I made some videos, some of them were live, stating that for as long as we have parties that in Zimbabwe do not stand for anything, parties which do not subscribe to any philosophy, to any political philosophy, parties which do not uh, push any political ideology, we are still going to have the same problems. I even told you that Triple C, according to how things are happening, with this strategic ambiguity uh, of theirs, that they say they were adopting a structureless uh, formation, a, a positionless formation, an ideologically bankrupt formation, I stated that it was going to split because there was nothing that brought these people together other than the power hunger and the attempts to get rich through certain positions rather that is maybe going through uh, going to parliament going to the senate going to council or holding positions within the party because what has happened in zimbabwe is that people are now in politics to try and get rich quick these are now ponzi schemes they are get rich schemes and i stated that for as long as there is no ideology which people bought into when they got into the party. What it means is that this is a house built on sand. It is built on personal endeavors. It is built on personal favors. It is built on personal ambitions. People went in there not because they wanted to change the system, because they don't understand the system. They don't understand that the problems that we have in the country as a people, as a nation, are based on a certain system that is being pushed by Zanu PF, a system that was inherited from the colonialists. They came up with a system of centralization. And when we took over in 1980, having fought so gallantly, we did not seek to change the system because also we didn't understand that we were not fighting against race. We were fighting against a system 
which empowered and elevated one race above the other races. And when we took over, we began to elevate tribe, we began, we began to elevate a party above national needs. What is now uh, manifested out of that is that we now have not only a certain race above the affairs of the country, but also a certain tribe above the affairs of the country, but not only one tribe, because we have divided our country into two giant tribes, that is the Ndebele and the Shona, and everything that is being uh, uh, harvested, let me say, from the country, is being shared between Ndebele and Shona, and we have sort of bled the other tribes that exist in the country, or created what we call two umbrellas of saying, if you're not Shona, you're Ndebele, and vice versa. So, on top of that, there are also a, a, a certain people, a certain groups of people that belong together in terms of partisanship. They, you have to be Zalu PF for you to be able to get anything. So, it's all about you being partisan. It's all about you being either of the tribes in order for you to get anything. So, these elites have now created another layer of another grouping which claims that it is the mainstream opposition which seeks not only to not to change the system but to replace these existing elites and become the new elites so for as long as we do not subscribe to any philosophy politically for as long as we do not push any ideology these cycles will continue to happen these cycles will be maintained forever and ever so I stated this when I came uh, live a number of times when I recorded several other videos before that. What I'm seeing is that Triple C is going to split. 